Hi everybody, Autumn here. Thanks for joining me. I'm gonna take you through um, a bar inspired thigh series as well as some abdominal work. So put on your favorite playlist, stay hydrated. If you have um, a chair nearby or a pole, you might want to have that for some balance. Um, also, if you have a squishy ball or a um, yoga block, grab those. Um, it's okay if you don't have that. You can have a small pillow underneath your head. Um, so it's okay if you don't have all the props, but I'm glad you're here to work out with me. So let's go ahead and get started right into our thigh series. I want you to have a nice wide turnout. So root down into your feet, take a breath, Press into your heels, press into all 10 toes, feel a little lift in that arch. Reach your arms up, grow tall. Good, press those arms down, grow a little bit taller in the spine. And reach those arms up, grow tall. And press those arms down and back. I want you just to dive yourself down right here. Just dive down, let's get some movement and scoop and roll it up. I'm gonna slide down my right leg, reaching, and I'm gonna come back to center. Push into the heel, scoop up in the belly. I'm gonna slide down my left, and I'm gonna scoop into the center and roll it on up. Now, if you haven't done the arm series yet and you wanna add some arm work, you can grab weights and use that during um, some of this thigh series. So right here, keep that stance. I want you to bend those knees. Think about, you're gonna see your first and second toe. Now I want the knees to press open from the hips. I'm not leaning forward or leaning back, nice and neutral. Abdominals pulling in, my core staying active, my back staying long, and I'm pressing down, squatting down. So arms can go out for balance. Take your breath right here, root down into those feet, and let's get started. Little presses down. Just press the hips down. Center your body weight, stay nice and centered. And press, and press, and press. So you decide how low you're gonna go. I want you to find where you feel the challenge. Maybe you go an inch lower, and keep pressing from there. So the intensity depends on you. You can do it, reach those arms long, shoulders down the back, and press, and press, and press. Now press and hold, lift that right heel up, keep pressing, little press, little pulses, down and up, down and up, down and up. You can have your hands on your waist, you can have your hands out to the side, you can also be um, having your hands resting on a chair for balance if you need to, and press. Keep opening from the hips, don't let those knees buckle in. Now hold, lower the right, lift the left, press, press, little pulses, little pulses, little press, little pulses down and up, down and up, down and up. Good, last five, four, three, two, one, hold, lift that right heel to match the left, open those knees, send those hips straight down, just press, maybe you bring your hands to heart center. Just press, root down, you create that balance, and push, push, push. Keep finding breath. Good, take it, press, press, press. Feel that quiver in your body, working hard to stabilize, to strengthen, and press, press, press and hold. Little press is open with those knees, just press from the hips, and press, and press and press. Take a press, press. Good, press and hold. Sink a little lower, down with the heels and lift. Down and up, down and up. Maybe add some overhead with the arms. And lift, and lift, and lift. Good, lift, hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower the heels. We're gonna pivot that back leg. So your hips are facing forward. Both toes are facing forward. That front leg, knees over the ankle, 
Back knee under the hip. You're gonna drop it down to your lunge. You're gonna reach those arms forward, shoulders over hips. You're gonna send the hips straight down, knee straight down. Take it down and up. Take it down and up. It's down and up. Keep breathing. Take it down and up. Take it down. Find your range of motion. Root down into that front foot. Drop those hips straight down. Shoulders relaxing down the back. Again, you can be holding onto something for balance. Hands can be on your hips. Press it down. For five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna add on. So we're going to combine that open position. Sweep out to the right and back to your lunge. Take it open and close. Take it open and lunge. My left foot is staying nice and stable and anchored. My whole body is moving, upper body moving as that right leg pivots. So my hip and knee, everything comes with that ankle. Good, last four. Three, two, one, and hold. Good, lift those heels again and press, press, press. Find your breath. Stay lifted, stay with me, you can do this. And press, press, press. Good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, lower those heels. We're gonna sweep it around. Left hip, left foot, root down into that right foot. So your hip, you pivot from that foot, you're gonna bring it down to your lunge right here. Good, take it down and up. So adjust yourself as you need, take it down and up. So my knee is not gonna shift forward or back. I'm dropping straight down and up. Hope you can see this challenge for me. I'm having beautiful quiver happening in my body. Woo, doggy. Reach those arms. Take it down. Down and up. Last eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Let's add on. Open and close. Take it open. Take it close. Take it open. Take it close. And open and close. So you take it at your pace. To get open, you wanna focus on that posture. If you need to slow it down, slow it down. Or just stick with that lunge. Good, go four. Three. Two. And hold. Lift those heels. Open from the hips, take a breath. You can do this. Sink a little lower. Lift in that core. Feel that heat, baby, and hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, shake it out. All right, so if you wanna grab something to hold onto for balance, you're gonna grab that ball. I like something to squeeze. Or you can squeeze your legs together. You don't have anything. You can also use a little yoga block. So right here, what you want to think about is I'm not leaning or putting body weight on this. I'm just going to use it to help me stay balanced as I can get a little bit lower. My feet, narrow hip width so I can get a squeeze on that ball. I want to grow really tall right here. Okay, now I'm going to drop the heels. I'm gonna lift the heels, I'm gonna bend the knees. When I bend the knees, my bottom is reaching towards my heels. And then I'm gonna stand tall, drop the heels, lift the heels, everything goes tall, bend the knees, lower the heels, stand tall, and lift. Find a little flow. Good, lift, and down, push, lift, 
bend down, push, neutral spine, thigh squat, lift, down, and up, and push, lift and hold. Now dive it down, feel that lift in the core, drop the shoulders, relax. Right here, hips go straight down. My heels are high. Even if you need to put a yoga block underneath your heels as support, you can do that. Now I should be able to wiggle my toes because I'm not on the toes, I'm on the ball of the feet. And press, and press. Light grip on whatever I'm balancing, no death grip here. And press, press. Little presses down with the hip. Now press and hold, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, little tiny presses and just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Woo! Keep breathing. Press, press, press. Now press, hold. Good, you're gonna add a pelvic tilt. So tuck, release, tuck, release. Take a tuck. In that tuck, you're getting length in your quads. Tuck, release, tuck, release. Take a tuck, release. Go for eight, seven, six, five, good, four, three, two, one, and hold. Good, sink a little lower. I hope you see my legs are shaking. And press, press, press. Little presses. Take a press, press, press. Now press and hold. Good, lift those heels and hold. Squeeze that ball, lift the arms, hold. For eight, seven, six, find your challenge. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Roll it down. Nice job. Now before we go into our abdominal series, let's stretch those quads out. So come on to kneeling. Left leg's gonna go forward. If you need an extra pad for your knee, you can. You can also do the standing and you can hold onto a wall for balance. I'm gonna hold my right foot in my right hand. Get that heel close to my bottom. I'm gonna pop my hips forward. Really feel a nice stretch. Keep breathing here. I got a little sweaty, I don't know about you. And release that. Stretch that left leg long. Try to square up your hips. So pull that left leg back, walk your legs forward, keep a flexed foot. I like to have my right hand kind of go to the outside of that left knee and just soften here. Try to maintain square hips, super straight left leg, even if you just want to soften those elbows. Depending on how tight you are, you don't want to put all that weight on your wrist, you just want to soften into it. And each breath, get a little bit deeper. Yeah, let's go ahead, sweep that left leg back, right leg forward. Grab a hold, left foot in the left hand. Remember right here, pop the hip forward. So you're pressing forward. You're gonna feel a nice, deep stretch in your quads. Take a breath. Good, go ahead and release that. Right leg forward. Again, let's square off those hips. So pull that hip back. Fold forward, walk your hands forward. Get as low as you feel comfortable keeping square hips and a straight right leg. Flexing that foot. Softening those elbows, bringing nose to knee as deep as you can. Good. Then let's bring it on back. So we're gonna set up for some abdominal work here. Now I'm gonna rest my head on a yoga block. I find that when I rest my head on the yoga block, it helps me keep my back out of it and my abs in it more. But it's totally okay if you wanna just have a little pillow under there or just lay flat. Just have to modify. If you feel that your hip flexors are taking over or your back is really taking over, Put one foot down, um, limit your range of motion, 
All right, so I'm gonna rest my head back on this yoga block. Now I'm gonna place this ball between my ankles. Always okay, you don't have to have anything between your ankles. You can just squeeze your legs all the way together, zip everything up right here. Arms are gonna go down, chest is broad. Exhale, soften the ribs. So when I say knit the ribs together, I mean, as you exhale and you hollow out, belly button gets a little deeper and those ribs wanna mend a little bit closer together to just really focus on forming nice flat abdominal wall when we're contracting. So knees over the hips. Let's start with 90 degrees. Flex your feet. If you're gluing your legs all the way together, that's okay. Then right here, you're gonna push out and in. Now, with the out and in, I'm hinging from the hips, softening my neck and jaw. Now I like to inhale when I push out so I can really stabilize. I exhale when I draw the knees in a little. Inhale, stabilize the core. Exhale, draw it in. In and out. Taking it in and out. Now this is really small movements because the in and the out are you're already engaged. I want you to visualize your core pulling the legs in and then stabilizing as you take them out to the challenge. Pull the legs in and stabilize as you take them out to the challenge. Now if that's already enough challenge, stay where you are. Point from the feet. Lift the legs. Activate your quads right here. We're gonna turn into a small turnout position. Heels are gonna reach together, small V. Good, right here. Again, hinge from the hips, small. Take it down, lift. Inhale, stabilize, exhale, lift. Take it down and up. Now, you just worked your quads. So, your lower body might start to shake a little bit. Breathe through it. Focus on visualizing your core, bringing those legs up. Inhale, fill up the lungs. Exhale, hollow them. Inhale, stabilize. Exhale. So it's okay if you have a little natural curve, but you don't want to let those ribs pop. You don't want to go into an arch of the back. Nice and strong. And lift. And lower. Good. Last time here. Take it down. We're going to squeeze in and press it out. Squeeze in and press it out. So you can just have your heels gluing together, or you can have a ball. Pull in and push. And press. And press. Find that range of motion that's a challenge for you. And four. Three. Two. One and hold, good, I'm gonna flex and point. Flex and point. Keep pulling the belly button in, keep relaxing the neck and jaw, and reach, flex, reach. Whole leg is active. Good, point, flex, point, flex. Good, now point and hold, lift up. Sink the belly button in, squeeze, lift. Hold for eight, seven, Six, maybe lower those legs. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, take a breath. Good, go ahead and release that yoga block. So we're gonna go into a round back series. So for a rounded back, I'm gonna place this ball. If you want a pillow, grab a nice little pillow. If you don't have a ball. So I want my chin to stay off my chest. So sometimes these balls can be a little big. You want it to be nice and squishy. So my, my gaze is up, my shoulders are down the back. I'm gonna press down right here. And then I'm gonna curl up in the ribs. So when I say curl up in the ribs, my upper ribs and my shoulders are lifting just a little bit, but I'm not tensing my neck yet. I'm not trying to actively lift, lift with my neck. I'm pressing down into the feet, I'm gonna curl up. Now in this curl up, I'm gonna tuck the tailbone. So I want you to think about your middle back being really rooted into the mat the whole time during our round back. Tailbone's tipping up through the knees, 
and I'm curling the ribs. So I want my hip bones and my ribs to connect over my belly button. I want my belly button to pull in and under my ribs right here to get tuck curl. Tuck curl, press down on the feet to start. First, find the breath and the movement. Tuck curl, good. Now, hold the curl. Right knee up, left knee up. Legs are hip width. Curl up, hold, good. Tuck curl, hold, good. Now just tuck curl, tuck curl. Now right here, what I want you to think about is the knee's not pulling in and out, but the tailbone going up through the knees. Tuck curl, tuck curl, tuck curl. Keep breathing. Each breath. Get a little bit deeper. So think about one movement, movement after the other. Tuck curl, tuck curl, tuck curl. Now curl up, hold. I'm gonna grab that ball. Or you can just kind of rest your head into your hands. Whatever you have. Right knee's gonna pull in. I'm gonna lower that left leg. I'm gonna curl up an inch deeper. Tuck the tailbone, middle back stays rooted. And a little tiny tuck, just tuck, just tuck. Keep breathing. And seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch one time and tuck and tuck. Find the reach, keep that curl up. And seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch. Keep the curl. You can add a little twist to the shoulders. Keep breathing. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to center. Legs up. We're going to bend it in. I want you to become a tight roly-poly right here. So glue the thighs together and curl in. Focus on the lower abdominals, lifting those hips. Even if you don't have your chest lifted and your head's all the way down, you can just lift here. Now if you want to add upper and lower body together, here you go. Hollow it out. And curl, and curl, and curl. And curl, and curl, and curl. Good curl, hold. Good, nice deep breath right here. We're gonna add on, you're gonna take the legs out, stabilize, hold that little tuck. Curl in, take it in, take it in, tuck, curl and reach. In tuck, curl and reach. Take it in tuck, curl and reach. Go for eight. Good, five. Two. Hold. Reach those arms. Tuck the tail and hold for eight, seven. Six, maybe you pump those arms. Five, four, three, two, and hug it in. Lay all the way flat. Let's rock a little. Massage your spine right here. Let's bring that right knee in. Stretch that left leg long. Let's walk all the way up. Really reaching, bend it in, hook the leg, right arm long, shoulder heavy, spine twist here. Take a breath. Good, let's bring it back. Stretch the leg long, reach up and over, find that length through the whole body. Slide the left knee in, look up, reach the leg up. 
Nice deep breath. Bend the knee in, lower the head, hook the leg, spine twist here. Have your shoulder heavy and just pull that knee down. Each breath, get a little deeper. Good, bring it back in. Let's reach up, find a nice deep stretch. And a nice exhale and soften. One more time, inhale, reach. Exhale and soften. If you wanna add a nice stretch in your stomach, you can roll onto your back. Good, I want you to find that length in the back of the neck, reach through the legs. Take a nice deep inhale and lift and open up the chest. Exhale and soften. Shoulders plug down. Inhale, press into those arms. Lengthen the neck. Find your range of motion. And exhale. Bring your hands back. Lift the chest. Hips back. Open knees. Child's pose. Just find a nice stretch in the back. Take a breath. Inhale. Let's do thumbs up to the ceiling. Let the forehead rest. Nice deep inhale and a nice deep exhale. Thank you guys for joining me.